Over the weekend, we saw Elvis fans rocking and rolling in Lexington. They sure did. <laughs> fans of the king of rock and roll visited the city for a tribute festival. Joshua Davis takes us there. You can find Elvis Presley fans everywhere. And over the weekend, some of his biggest fans gathered in Lexington to pay tribute to the king. This is the second year the NC Tribute Festival to the King has taken place here, a place with a surprising connection with the King of Rock and Roll. He actually played here at our YMCA in 1956, so that was just when he was getting started. Um, so we're just trying to keep Elvis alive in Lexington. Over the course of three days, the festival features lookalike competitions, performances, and more. with attendees and performers alike sharing stories of what made them fans of Elvis Presley. My mama kind of heard me singing the Elvis stuff and she's like, you know, you kind of sound like Elvis. And, and so it kind of took on from there. I started when I was four years old by watching the Aloha from Hawaii tape over and over and over. When I was about the age of six, uh, I, I listened to Elvis music with my aunt and uh, she kind of got me involved in it. Wanted to be Elvis for Halloween one year when I was about nine and uh, the rest is history. I and hoping to inspire some new fans along the way. There's nothing better than walking out there and just seeing people smile. As, as long as they can take something away from a festival, whether we make a new Elvis fan or we, we uh, let some of the fans relive those moments, <laughs> um, that, that's the most important thing. To sing the music of Elvis Presley and keep that legacy going for newer generations to hear into the future is uh, just the greatest thing, you know, to keep him alive and going. In Lexington, Joshua Davis, WXII 12 News.